everybody, Roger and James here, founder of this Kingdom Podcast. In this episode, we're going to be talking all about all the brand new Infinity War merchandise, which hit this week over the weekend, a massive, big, I mean, so much stuff. I mean, we had new Lego sets, new Marvel Legends, we had action figures, Titan heroes, we've had pop vinyls, mystery minis, t-shirts, mugs, uh, it's just tons and tons of stuff. There was a big kind of pushback from Disney last week where they had all the celebrities having these big boxes of toys kind of showing it all off and everything was supposed to be going on sale on Saturday and Sunday. Um, in some ways that worked well because they kind of had, they were, I think in some ways they were trying to like create a, like a Force Friday kind of thing, but I think they failed epically in the fact that, that so much of it had leaked online <laughs> beforehand so it didn't have the impact. And also they weren't really getting the message out properly that it was a special weekend because, well, I mean... I went to three stores, not a single bit of the Infinity War stuff. Okay, I could say, well, the snow maybe, and the whole country being blocked off, and you couldn't buy any milk or bread anywhere. Might be why they, but I'm sure it'd been in the warehouses for weeks. Um, so, and I heard quite a few people say they couldn't find anything, but there was a big buzz over all of the um, merchandise. I have to admit, I didn't realize at all that this was supposed to be a big weekend. I I saw that there were news releases, but if they were going for um, oh man, you got to go out and see all the new merchandise in store. They, at least for me, they missed that message. Until you just said it, like we didn't do any talking before the show. So no. this is literally me finding out that this yeah. past weekend was supposed to be like the big launch. I'm like, yeah, oh, if, ooh, ouch. yeah. If I hadn't have just literally spent most of probably Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday writing, a video, I got to a point where I'm going, I was like. How many more Infinity War toys can I actually post about? Because it's literally the last 15 stories have been about Infinity War toys. There were just so much being announced. There would been it was just one thing after another. There was so much bits and pieces coming through, and then they were doing this whole hold back and stuff going up on the, you know, the front pages of both the Disney Store here and in the US. They had all the things up, and the chub. In some ways, it was great because everything was available at once for a lot of people. On the other hand, in some ways, it's a little bit overwhelming in the fact that there's way too much to buy at once. Um, I was a little bit annoyed when I came back from three different stores and, and didn't have a single thing. And then I ordered it online because I was in the morning going, I could just order it all now. It's like, oh, no, I'm going to go out later. I'm going to go pick my wife up. I might just nip, go a bit early and nip into town and pick some stuff up in person. Like, that. And it's like, no, didn't, that didn't work. So personally, I've ordered, I ordered um, three or four of the Lego sets that I've um, sort of. I did kind of, I pushed the butt out and went for one of the the, the, the mini, the smaller Hulk Buster. I didn't go for the big Ultron version, and went also for a couple of ones. So you're going to see some reviews of that coming up when they arrive. Um, Lego were also doing a special promotion. If you brought through them, you got like a free little toy and a print and stuff. So that was kind of cool. I think that sold out quite quickly. Um, loads of pops. And loads of mystery minis and stuff. I will pick them up eventually. I'll pick, start picking a few of them up. Again, there was a thing. There was so much. My budget would only go so far, and I had to kind of cherry pick of what I wanted. There was a load of Marvel Legends action figures. I love them, but they're a little bit kind of. I mean, on Amazon they're like thirty, forty pack. I think some of the stores are selling them twenty, twenty five quid each. For over there, for you in America, they're about twenty dollars each. The 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 they're, so that thing of £25 for a pro, for an action figure slightly changes the tone of what I'm spending at that point. Yeah, it was one of those things. I think I saw like a Legends figure or two mm. where I was like, oh, that's actually kind of cool. Um, I think it was one of the ones with the vehicles, like Ghost yeah. Rider or, or yeah. not. There was another one. I was like, oh, that's kind of cool because it's got the vehicle yeah. and I'm more into vehicles. Let's see. Oh, it's 30 something dollars because it the because yeah. the vehicle ones are yeah. more expensive. They and it was like, nope, six... we're done. I think I saw them on Amazon. They were fifty-five pound for what for the Ghost Rider one. I'm like, whoa! Yeah. So I mean, I did buy I did buy a load of the basic action figures. They're going to be going up as reviews. Um, so that will be like wave one. Literally, March is going to be just a load of Infinity toys. That's pretty much. This is how the waves are going to work because you know, like February was Black Panther. It's Infinity War now. Then we're probably into going to be Solo next month, and then it'll be Deadpool. You know, that's kind of how the toy system works. But there was just so much, and um, Funko put out a load. There's a load of exclusives. You had the new Mystery Minis, um, Dorbs, etc. They really did. Oh, and we were just being um, attacked there by Thanos. <laughs> 
something like that. <laughs> yeah. For those on the audio thing, yeah, we just had a cat that's literally just walked right in front of the screen uh, for James. Um, but what else caught your eye? Um, obviously, mostly I looked at the Legos because yeah. that's that's the one that I mm. I get, and um, I didn't end up getting any of them. I might get the the new version of the Milano mm. at some point, like when the price drops. But one of the cool things that I liked about the Lego sets is that each of them have part of the Infinity Gauntlet, or yeah. they have one of the Infinity Stones, and then the Milano itself actually has the Gauntlet, and it's got spots yeah. for all the rest of them. Pardon me there. <laughs> um, but other than that, you know, uh, there wasn't too much. I think that this will sound funny, but the one other thing that caught my eye was I think the uh, alarm clocks that are shaped yeah. like characters. <laughs> you pop them on the head when um, when the alarm goes off. I was like. I actually could see myself getting a little rocket raccoon one. Yeah, it was, uh, oh, it was funny yesterday. My dad, my mum and dad, we were sat there at work, and it was like they were like, and it was raining, and they're like, "That mum, I need a new alarm. We need a new alarm clock. The radio's not working properly on the one we've had. They've had it since I think I can't even remember when they haven't had this alarm clock." So I fired up the phone and went, "Dad, look, I've got you. You get this one. It's a Groot one. I think it says I am Groot in the morning instead of just like a, And he's and they're both looking at me just like what? I said, look, I am Groot. I am. <laughs> <laughs> they're just like, no, we we want a normal alarm clock. <laughs> um, but yeah, there is there was some stuff there. I mean, some of the new hot toy stuff that looks they, they weren't released, but. There's a load of stuff like that. I mean, there seems to be loads of Infinity Gauntlets, kind of, a um, couple of different versions. You've got, like, Marvel Legends. You've got a basic child version. And then you've kind of got the Hot Toys really $600 version. There's a few different ones. Um, but, yeah, I'm fixed. I mean, the trouble is, in some ways, because there's so many different heroes in this movie, you can see that the, this is probably, like, wave one. There'll be a second wave of stuff coming a little bit... Um, closer to the movie because there was a load of heroes that weren't including the Gamora and Drax weren't showing up in it there was no war machine there's not a lot of them like Winter Soldier I feel like there's going to be a second wave probably coming um around because obviously they moved the week they moved it forward in the US to the 29th 27th same day as the UK just do that everywhere just have the same release date for all of us all you know it's all dispatched through digital now just don't you don't need to worry about that so that's good but, yeah, there was a ton of stuff, but I do think they missed... I don't think they hit the point of trying to recreate Force Friday. I don't think they were able to do that. And, I mean, even Disney themselves and all have said, and Hasbro, that Force Friday was too early. And maybe this might be the thing as well. I mean, the good thing is with the Marvel Infinity War stuff, all these characters are well known. Yes, obviously, uh, just about every single character in the movies was introduced at a previous point mm. minus uh some of the villains and the, the um black order obviously have not been established in the movies but we might get one or two heroes who pop up there's still rumors of captain marvel but other than that you know every single one of these heroes was in something so yeah, yeah they, they can get away with just being like all right here's a set and it's got uh doctor strange and uh, Yellow Jacket or Doctor Strange, Spider Man, and Iron Man all mm. in a single set, and you're like, okay, that's a yeah. very odd combination, but okay. So, yeah. um, I think what's going to be interesting about this is, given that they're going to have so many toys and so many uh, waves of toys, if there's a hero you like from the movies and who maybe has been underrepresented in uh, action figures, like say Black Widow, this will be probably a very good chance to pick some stuff up from them because everybody's going to have something or other. Yeah, I mean, you can definitely see how... I mean, you know, you look at, like, for example, like the Funko lane. I mean, they launched, like, 15, 20. But there's at least another 15, 20 that they didn't put out, so you know they're going to be coming later. Um, but it was also it's trying to recreate, you know, give them all... You know, you can see where they're going, oh, yeah, we're giving four a different look, because now he's got an eye patch. You know, I inspired a... You know, Groot's now a teenager. They've had that upgraded because... We're in that same situation of what we had with like Last Jedi last year, where the trouble is a lot of these figures kids will already have collectibles. You know, we'll have collectibles of like, you know, there's different versions of going. Well, I've already, you know, we've already got this stuff. I've already got a four. Or I've already got a Star Lord. You know, Star Lord hasn't really changed his look. Um, so there's, it's good. There's a lot of stuff there. It's, it's, it's cool the fact that they've done this. Um, like I said, the Lego stuff caught my eyes, but they they really had a little a bit of a they had like a, a very cheap set, medium price, two medium, three medium sets, 
you know the big ship that you said it was the 70 then you had the Ultron the sort of the um, Hulkbuster version so they had quite a few different ranges it was a bit like you know you, you've got to I was a little bit at this point going, do I, I don't I like Hulkbuster do I go that much or not and I'm like okay I'll buy it and yeah but also you also saw the other effect of they haven't put out a lot of Black Panther stuff for Infinity War because they've still got all the Black Panther merchandise on the shelf from the movie because which is still number one in the box office so that made a little bit more sense but generally just a load of great stuff I think yeah uh, if you are a toy collector if you've got a kid who loves toys and hasn't migrated over to um, mobile tablets and all that fun stuff. This is a very good time to be a superhero collectible fan. Um, I'm going to keep my eye on the Legos. Maybe see if they've got any cool ships because there should be some space battles in this. Thanks to uh, Thanos and all that. But yeah, there's something for everybody. And that's that's yeah. the way we like it. Yeah, I think there's definitely going to be some brickheads. They're the ones I'm looking forward to. Um, That's true. So I think that we're definitely going to have another wave of Avengers stuff. But let us know in the comments below, what did you pick up? What are you most excited for from the Infinity War uh, merchandise which has just been released? Let us know in the comments below. Check us out over at thiskingdom.com. You can like, subscribe, and follow on whichever video or audio platform you are watching this on. Let's find us on all the different social medias. Uh, James, where can they find you? You find me at HeroicLegacy.com. Oh, no, guys, if you haven't already done so as well, check out Patreon, where you can support us from as little as a dollar a month to help keep the lights on. On that note, guys, thank you very much for joining us. We'll be back soon. Laters. Later.